Phobos. Uh, thanks for following. Okay, we here we are. Demo Starry Art. Demo Star Yard acknowledging civilian vessel. Our sales department is open. Please dock if you want to do business. Welcome to Deimos Star Yard. If you have business, feel free to dock. watching over this star yard like a hawk, so we should watch our step. When humanity finally left the cradle of Earth behind, the United Colonies was born. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay, I'm <laughs> having this, uh, maybe something else than Arcosecta extractors jumpsuit. I'm looking like this. Intrepid explorers and valiant colonists. Hello. Was exclusively a military contractor. Ah, okay. Damos builds some of the toughest ships in the settled systems. That's probably why the UC Navy continues to contract with them to this day. Okay, so we we can be del delivery guy. They are buying buying resources. Exit assistant. How many years of experience do you have? Ex executive, administrative, or other co corporate assistant? Let's say that I have been like minor mining mining guy, so. That's probably one to four. So leave it on how you guess and you have completed bachelor's degree. You will be now asked service questions to help us assess your competence in this role. Please answer honestly the best of your ability. It actually wants you to bring a, a them a whiskey need. What does that, that means? Uh, must whiskey or one of those drinks that you shouldn't actually chill? Whiskey need. So it's it's a call to to be drink slowly. Without any mixer. Whiskey straight up. It might have to the, the office for meeting. With the executor who is in explicitly running late. What should you do? The, the, the client with jokes on the exit arrives, reschedule the client for drinks, apologize, so that Excel will return to soon. Let's entertain the guest. Malfunction prevents executive starship from starting up and they need to go to the important offer of meeting soon. What course of action do you take? <laughs> offer them use of your bad old banged up ship. Use the company credits to immediately chart an expensive luxury craft. <laughs> Why 
while handing executing the email you come across messages from someone claiming to have a damaging information about the execute. What you do you do? <laughs> Call for the extra black bait and in the hopes of getting a big rise. <laughs> Ask an exit how they want it handled, then never speak of it again. <laughs> Faithful Samurai. The exit contacts you and asks you to see them in their office in the middle of the night. You can tell they are drunk. What do you do? <laughs> Take care of them until they sober up. Submit application. To Demos. No other ship can hold a candle to a Demos. It's not even close. It's nice to see someone not in uniform. They can be so touchy, you know. <laughs> Always eager to point out the slightest problem. Oh, please tell me you aren't secretly some high-ranking general, are you? No, I'm a ci civilian. A Thanks for watching. I assume you're here for a ship. Either that, or you are really, really lost. Mr. Henderson handles sales. But if you want to know anything about our ships, I'm your gal. Oh, yeah? Well, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It can be pretty hard working with these no-nonsense military types. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say things like that. At least not so loudly. I've already been written up twice this week. I can only take so many lectures. <sighs> Man, I could really use a drink. Well, we don't have much of it at all. We have to keep up appearances. What I could really use is Jake Stout, from Jake's Bar in New Atlantis, of course. Or The Well, to be more specific. Oh, I used to love that place when I lived there. I mean, Jake isn't friendly, but he could make a pretty good drink. Say, you're the traveling <laughs> type, right? Well, Would you mind grabbing me one of Jake's Stouts? Drink for the flight years. Awesome! Thank you so much! I yeah, await your traveling return. several light years to get a drink. Yeah, why not? If you have your own ship, we're always looking for bulk resources. The Star Yards have negotiated a set price with the Trade Authority, twice the market rate. Okay. As a first-time contractor, I am required by law to let you know that every Star Yard offers the same terms. But obviously, you should deal with us. Depending on your cargo hold size, you may need to make several trips to fulfill the order. So okay. what we need is... Argon. The request is for a large quantity. 5,000 units of it. Okay, that's a lot. We'll come back later then. What we need is always changing. Oh, yeah. Bye. That's a lot. That's a lot. I mean... You need to have a like super hauler or something. What do we have here? A civilian in my star yard. Daimos prides itself on being the UC's first and last line of defense in space. But we're more than happy to protect and arm bold entrepreneurs that do their business among the stars. Daimos has a starship to fill every need science vessels and the like but what we're known for what we're built for is combat okay Way more starships have seen more action and more theaters than any of our competitors history was forged in our star yard time and time again so let's see about getting you a proper ship one worthy of you the best decision you've made all year so they have a lot bigger ships. Phalanx. Not 
the, these are huge ships. Oh, this is small one. I don't have a, <laughs> I don't have a much of credit. Yep. When you get serious about your spacecraft, come back to Deimos. When I, when I get rich. Okay, Trevor, you are flying. Don't worry, trust me. This is the best shot we've got at getting that request. <laughs> okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoe in. I know it might feel shady, but think of it more like uncorking an unnecessary bottleneck. It's going to help us all. By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. <laughs> she gets talkative during happy hour and loud. I'm surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. Um. There's problem with the gravity or something, or maybe he f just feels floaty. Is he still flying? Yep, he's still flying. I wonder what happens when he hits the roof. Okay, of course. Never mind. Did you know Deimos makes the majority of the ships for the UC Navy? If you ask me, that's a hell of a loop. Ten years. Operative contract. <laughs> Very to find good risky. Okay. Feeling light. Make, trust me. This is the best shot, and I can say that I've got some good news for you. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> Congratulations. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter. And when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. All you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Then we can get that new equipment and show corporate how it's done. Okay. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Lots of business operations to operate and all that operations operate yes oh you you're finally back i feel like you've been gone for ages 
Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? Good. Now, let's meet. Hey, you look a bit different than I remember. Did you go to Enhance? <laughs> no. Now I remember. They told me they sent me someone new. Anyway. When they told me how poorly you did on your application questions, I had my doubts. But at least you showed up on time, so maybe there's hope. Well, enough chit chat. Let's get to work. Not quite. I need you to do something much more important before you get to that. Okay, fetch I'm something. A personal shipment. Of, co of course. Why, but the last time this happened, my assistant ended up speaking to Governor Hurst about it. Now, run off and get it for me. What's in the shipment? A good assistant knows it's not their place to ask. Bad assistants get fired. Mediocre assistants get... You know what? I forgot where I was going with this, but it doesn't matter. Just get it for me, will you? Also, okay. I don't quite remember, but it is important that I know. Have a good one. Uh huh. Okay. Go governor, why do we need to go and talk to the governor? What's what's in the box? Watch out for the robots. They're surprisingly sneaky. Hello. I'm s I'd love to chat more, but I'm expecting a message any minute from the Trade Authority. You know how it is with these big businesses, am I right? Ah, hello. Welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but I'd be happy to help if it's something quick. What can I do for you? Something important, huh? Well, lay it out for me. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? Heard of you. Of course, how could I not? Interesting. It appears Governor Hurst is well aware of our exploits. If by exploits, you mean what your friend is doing for Sidonia, and not your work for Constellation, Ms. Morgan, you're right on the money. So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble, unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to, but I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? I'm looking for Mr. Brennan's personal shipment. He said you might know what happened to it. Oh. I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However, I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Ah. Uh. Again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you. But I'm going to need a favor first, since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See, my personal spacecraft was stolen. Likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need oh someone no. to find it. Then I need that someone to destroy it. Discreetly. I need tight lips on this. Okay. Then we have an agreement. Okay, a bit shady. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room. What? What's happening here? Oops. Orbital pattern locks in. So missions. Find the stolen stolen ship. So on map. Training ship. Drifting alone here for 
I wonder what this is all about. Docking cycle complete. That's a big ship, by the way. Okay, that's far enough. Okay, he's a pirate. Now you know I'm not as alone and helpless as you thought. So think about how you want to handle this. You've got two choices. When the ship parts to repair our busted crap drive, hand them over along with your ship, and maybe we'll let you live. Oh, we dust you and take it anyway. You go to the count of twenty before I make that choice for you. You mean to parlay? <laughs> Countdown's over. Consider my curiosity peaked. Could have, but didn't. Uh, didn't that did might did be a mistake for you. I don't think we are Why I'm failing this? Nobody wants that. But now I need to lie, and this is not probably going to work. <laughs> you clip is that it then? <sighs> but admire your gal. Tell you what, I'm feeling charitable. Just give us the ship parts we need to repair our craft trap so we can get out of here and uh I'll let you leave. Nah. I'll I'll take admire your confidence. I'll take my... I don't stock up on junk. Maybe shotgun. this notes this is seat no fuel for over week now and no signs to rescue to all these I'm wrong I wish I could say I'm sorry but through this I don't know if that's true this isn't how I would like to die but guilt uncertainly has driven me to take my own life goodbye okay Okay, that, that, Sorry that. if I had to reclaim some UC property. Listen up, you degenerate group of... First, I'm asking that you take care of the ship and anyone on board. I don't care how you do it. Just want to be rid of this problem before someone catches on. If someone finds out that I'm having an affair, the woman involved ran off with my government issued ship. I'm sure you would understand. It would be very bad of me for me. I'd like to get ahead of that and just chalk up the simple theft and destruction. I repeat, the ship must be destroyed. Or we shall consider other the terms of your payment null and void. Okay, interesting. So. Community center on P1 is a good place to connect with others. 
I, sh I sure hope you've taken care of our little uh, problem. Did you uh, take care of my little problem? I found your notes to the parts. Seems like it would be pretty bad for you if people know. The fact that we helped this imbecile worm his way out of the situation makes me sick. Hmm. I see how it is. Tell you what. Say you really do have this alleged note and we're thinking of using it against me. If you're so inclined, I'll take it off your hands instead and compensate you far more than releasing Mr. Brennan's shipment of goods. Then you and I part ways and never speak of this again. Do we have an understanding? No deal, I like the idea of having leverage on you. Why do you work with the creams of it anyway? Why not hire a private first? Come on, don't make me have to explain it to you. Private security leaves a paper trail. Obviously, that's not a good look. So I had to go where that's not a concern. Hence the pirates. Hence you. Got it? Now, about that note. No deal. I like to having leverage on you. That's what I thought. You don't have anything. You can either put up or shut up now. Either way, my patience is growing thin. And you wouldn't want to risk losing that shipment, now would you? I'm already giving you what you want, per our agreement. Hmm. Tell you what, here's a little extra to keep you happy. But you should know, if I hear any rumors about this, I'll know exactly who to hold accountable. You had better think real hard about this before you walk away from me. How goes? You are, you are local copper, right? Vincent Woodard, chief of planetary security and former head of the Red Devils program here on Mars. I tend to deal with security at a high governmental level, whereas my associate Booth over there handles day-to-day -day security issues. So if you're looking to report a minor crime or misdemeanor, see him. But if there's something I can help you with, feel free to ask. Well, actually... That's a pretty serious accusation. I assume you have proof of these alleged illicit activities? Hmm. Let me take a look at that. Well, this doesn't look good for Hearst. I'll say that. You did the right thing by coming to me. I'll take it from here. The United Colonies thanks you for your vigilance. Tell you what, I'll do you a favor. Go ahead and finish whatever deal you had with Hearst. I'll wait to take care of him until after that. Just don't let him know we spoke about this. I don't want him running. And you don't want to lose whatever leverage you've got with him. Have yourself a good one. Careful near the railings on the upper level. Some some white collar crime here, so good good thing we are actually being able to root it out. Uh, thanks for watching. Well, good to see you. I'm eager to conclude our business together. Well, don't keep me waiting. Did you take care of it or not? Good. I'll release Mr. Brennan's shipment to you as promised. I'll even defer his taxes as a little bonus. 
You really helped me out of this bind. Don't take this the wrong way, but I hope I'm never in need of your help like this again. thing I asked you to do yet? Uh, wait. Apparently I didn't ask. Uh, maybe he has a dementia. My it feels like it. Do you have it yet? Ah, yes. I'll take that. Now, um, I've probably got some important messages I need you to take care of for me while I uh, um, attend to some other important matters at hand. You'll need my password. Remember, if you reply to anything, try to mimic my style and speech patterns. You know, for consistency. Oh, you're done? Ah, let's give some vacation for the <laughs> for the workers. <laughs> I just want to come to you from some drink, different drink options on the precarious. Thanks. Approve. <laughs> let's approve ev everything. Let's let's approve e everything. Psychological evidence turned out some interesting stuff. Governor. Hello, loser. <laughs> uh. Okay, we, we can't actually actually answer to these people, but we have changed the world to a, to a slightly better better place. Hope I didn't so, okay, now it's not to work. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. Well, of course. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted. He was already on his way out before I could stop him. But... <sighs> It shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. Yeah, no problem. Oh, thanks. This is a huge help. You'll be happy to know I actually carved out some of the budget so I can pay you for all of your assistance. We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with Sidonia ship services over at the starport first. They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without sending you all the way to Gagarin to retrace his steps. Good luck.
got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Kiosk. Hmm. Let's see here. Hank. Hank. No one by that name. Oh, wait. Here we go. Henry Farrell. Hank's gotta be his nickname. <laughs> yeah, he's been through here. Took a ship and departed. Actually, it looks like he came back into Mars space recently. But he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside the city of ways. I've been doing this job for years, and I can't think of many reasons someone would come in for landing, but divert somewhere else. I've seen people try to offload some sort of contraband that way, but usually they don't do a flyby of the port before doing so. And scans would have picked it up, so I don't know. You're gonna have to ask me yourself, if you manage to track him down, that is. Nothing out of the ordinary. Got a ship and left. Tried and failed to get a discount on fueling up. That's about it. Yeah, something seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, good luck and good day to you. Maybe, maybe he's hijacked. Ah, uh, don't float, float away. I wonder. I hope I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. That's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? Moreover, why wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co-workers mentioned there's been a little extra, well, Hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work and about his co-workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. Ugh, dunno. Hank's kind of a weird guy. He never fit in with the team. Tended to act a little sketchy. Always figured he'd be done after one contract. Guy like Hank? Maybe he's just looking to sell it on the black market and earn an extra paycheck. Can't say for sure. Remember, it's most important that we find out where the equipment is. We can always deal with Hank later. We've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets sold, moved, or worse. And we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. We've got our work cut out for us. Good luck. Okay. Boss is floating around. Yeah, let's go out and find Hank. So, how do I get in? Maybe, maybe this way. Self-service upon the clearance. Okay. Missy on board. Okay, those, this is like the constellation mission board, but they are exploration missions. Hey. These are like normal Howdy. Mer mercenary type. I wish I had taken it That's a Hank. You got a problem or something? <laughs> Just messing with you. My story. My story is that I don't like people asking what my story is. <laughs> I'm just messing. Okay. Oh, really, I don't want to talk about myself. What? Standing around pointing a cutter at some rocks all day? It sucks, but it's easy, so whatever. Oh, way better than my last job at Chunks, though. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first.
Here you go. Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? You're right. I didn't want to bring it back, so I took it. I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. So, screw Deimos. Screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment's the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. That's a terrible plan. And now that you told me, they'll arrest you. Isn't, isn't there a better way to get out of contract than this? No. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Who cares? It's my plan, and I'm already doing it. Tell you what, you give me the equipment that no one ever needs to know. Hmm. Oh, shit. You could turn me in. Yeah. He's, he's, he's in jail. I mean, this all for nothing. Slow burner. Fine. You got me. I'll take you to where I stashed it and we can haul it back. But you better not be lying to me about not telling anyone. Sure. Fine. I get it. Just, uh, follow me. We're going outside. Okay. If it's any consolation, I don't trust this man either. I'll keep an eye on him. Yep. Can't say I'm a fan of excitement. Well, I have a shotgun, so... A long walk. But I'm just wondering how if this guy is trying to pull pull on something on us. I mean if if he has friends. Turns. Uh, it sucks. Not if I convince them you were behind it the whole time, newcomer. And after I kill you, I'll look like a hero. Well, when you say it like that. <laughs> okay, that 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 was. Okay, this is pretty random. But I need to get like two successes. I don't care. I've got to try. I got nothing else. Sorry. But I gotta do this my way. And that means you need to die. Well of course. Oh, I'm not happy with having to kill Hank. But he left us with no other choice. Oh, yep. What a waste. I'm sure they had something we can use.
Can we can we check the sheep? That's a new sheep basically. Watchdog inaccessible, okay. Hey Trevor Trevor, do you want to get do you want to have um, good or bad news? Well, good news is that you get mining equipment back. Bad news? Yeah, I had to kill, kill, kill your friend. Yeah. Okay, you are not floating. I'm looking for any luck. Well, I found out what happened to with Hag and, and the equipment. Oh. Do tell. What took him so long? Well, he tried to be creative. Well, I can assume how that went from the fact that you're here and he's not. He worked hard, but he was a dumb kid. I just never thought he'd be that stupid. Or dangerous. Uh, it's a real shame. But I'm glad you managed to resolve it and get back our equipment. I'll take it from here. You really saved our asses. I'm not sure how I would have explained to the suits that we lost all that new stuff. Hey. Still looking to help us out, maybe check with Ripka. It seems to be having a rough go as of late. I know it doesn't seem like it, but Sidonia's actually very pleasant once you get used to it. Yeah, when nobody does, tries to kill me. Oh, okay, there. That's good. I can't complain. Not new light lasers. So we have Deimos space suit. So it's it's red suit. Well, of course it is. Hey, you know why they call this the red planet? Because it's not a moon! <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here all week. Ah, didn't think we had any new miners on account of the positions being full up. Oh, I wasn't worried. Concerned, maybe. Because we haven't had any positions open for a while. And some friends of mine were turned away recently. I just want to make sure nothing funny was going on. Anyway, I'm Layla. When I'm not mining, I'm tinkering with Gnome, our unofficial mascot. I feel that computer brain of his with all sorts of nonsense and announcements. Of course, if you're here to chat, I'm always happy to talk shop. Especially if you're interested in talking about the heart of Mars. So what's a heart of Mars? Oh, so you're interested in the heart of Mars. So what you? is it? Word is there's a cave out in the Martian ways with a gleaming node of the purest titanium ore you've ever seen. It's worth quite a lot of credits. But some say the heart of Mars is cursed. Hundreds have gone in search of it. Never to return. And every one of them met the grisly fate. Sounds like an artifact maybe, to me. Just maybe. You could be the first to succeed, though. You know, if you think you got what it takes. No judgment if you're too scared. Because in Roman mythology, Mars was the god of war. His heart is cold. But tough, like titanium. One of the miners started calling it that long ago, and the name stuck. Seems fitting enough. That's the spirit. You sure didn't seem like the type to be scared off by tales of cursed rocks. I'll give you the coordinates for the cave. Good luck out there, and be careful. Okay, interesting. The United Colonies Department of Labor would like to remind you that when so. you have overtime, it's harmful to your health. Since you helped us out with the equipment and all, <coughs> I was wondering if I could talk to you. Okay. <coughs> it's, it's probably <coughs> not, but I can't afford to go get it looked at. <coughs> not the cough. It 
It's not a matter of money. There's more to it than that. Actually, maybe this is wrong. You're a total stranger. Forget I said anything. It doesn't look like you have one. Shame. I'm sure you mean well, though. Maybe you still can. See, I'm I out of med back. medical for treatment, but my father, Nathan, is an executive with Reliant. I came to Sidonia to escape him. Nathan is not a good man. Not to me. And I did something terrible to him, so now he is searching far and wide for me. He has connections with doctors throughout the settled systems. I don't know which ones I can trust, and it won't end well for me if they snitch to him. <coughs> it's a risk I have to take. Yes, my condition is getting worse, but there's a chance it will clear up on its own. Probably if my not. If finds me, well, I know my father and I fear for my safety. That is a definite. It's worse than you think. I didn't just <coughs> run away from him. I knocked him unconscious, then stole his ship while he was out cold. Trust me, it was warranted at the time. Uh -huh. After I ditched it above Aquila, I bounced around the <coughs> settled systems until I landed here. It's the last place I thought he'd find me. But all that changes if I pop up in the Reliant database. He'll know I'm in Sidonia, and he'll never stop looking for me. Last I heard, he no longer cares for my safety. He only wants revenge. I have little doubt he would throw me in jail for as long as possible. Or worse. <coughs> Trevor tells me you're skilled in dealing with people. Maybe you could try to reason with my father. Or maybe scare him into backing off. But you should know. He has powerful and dangerous friends, so you must be careful. If it works, I'll be free. If not, well, at, at least he still won't know where to find me. <coughs> what do you think? It just so happens there's a conference he goes to on Neon around this time of year. Okay, Neon. He always stays at Hotel Volai. He won't see visitors he doesn't know, but maybe he'll talk if you tell him you're there on my behalf. It's risky, but maybe he'll listen if he knows you mean him no harm. I've got it. Bring him a bottle of his favorite whiskey, Red Harvest Reserve. Say it's... <coughs> Say it's a peace offering from me. That whiskey is exceedingly rare. I'm sure it will pique his interest enough to hear what you have to say. Good luck. You can check with Jack at the Broken Sphere for the whiskey. He may have some or <coughs> know where to get it. And thank you so much for trying to help me. Caution. Subterranean 